First question I ask everybody when I teach, do you think the show is complicated? Everybody raises their hands right away. Said from the beginning, I'm going to show you a technique that's going to make you a hero and stop torturing patients. We find techniques that do not reproduce the symptoms the patient wishes to get rid of. You remind. A lot of the treatments, I think, are very destructive to the shoulder because people disrespect it. It's not a linear joint, which means it does not move in one plane. The shoulder is two force couples that are functioning together the scapula and the glenohumeral joint, essentially. So to push the shoulder overhead like this is very destructive. And I don't see that those exercises are very beneficial to the shoulder. I think that my approach is different, okay, and it gives the therapist a tool or an understanding of how the shoulder should move, and it reduces causing pain. Basically, the treatment I do is rotation re-establish the two force couples. When you treat a patient, you have to be a detective. You have to figure out why is that shoulder hurting? What's the reason they're having pain? If you go through a number of different evaluation tests that you can do, uh, which includes seven rotation tests, the miraculous thing about the body is it just goes back to normal. No matter what you do. The learning starts as soon as you graduate. You have to keep up with the literature, you have to keep up with new stuff, you have to continue to learn. And, and learn from their patients, that's probably the biggest thing. Listen to what they have to say. Your patient will tell you how to treat them.